Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Colosi from ThinkWorks. This lesson is called Spring Has Come, and its objective is to teach students to express the feelings of spring in various ways. Begin by taking two large think blocks. Label one with the word season and the other with the word color. Place the two next to each other on the table and ask your students what are the parts of the idea color. As they give you answers, have them place a medium think block. For example, pink, yellow, red. Have them also identify the seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Ask them the relationship between seasons and color by placing a medium think block in between the two ideas. For example, they might say, change. Colors change when the seasons change. Next, we're going to look at one season from many different perspectives. Take one of your medium think blocks out, for example, spring, and place it in the middle of the table. Now, we're going to have your students look at spring from many different perspectives. Begin by taking a large think block with the word color written on it. Place the reflective side towards the season spring. Ask your students, from the perspective of color, what does spring look like? They might say something like yellow, green, and pink thinking of the sun, flowers, and grass. Ask them now to look at spring from a different perspective. Take another large think block with the word feelings written on it. Place the reflective side towards spring. Ask them from the perspective of how you feel, what is spring like? They may say something like happy, carefree. Put those parts in front of that block. Continue to do this with many different perspectives. For example, animals, plants, and activities. Have your students identify all of the different parts of spring from each of these perspectives in a row. Next, we're going to have our students draw a picture of spring. Have them look around the circle and decide which parts they'd like to include in their picture. For example, yellow, pink, and green, the feeling happy, a bird, some grass, and walking. Have your students draw their picture using the parts that they've identified from the different perspectives on spring. Once their picture is done, have your students check their picture against the parts that they had chosen from the perspective circle. For example, yellow, pink, green, bird, grass, happy, and walking. Using the patterns of thinking and think blocks, we have demonstrated various ways that your students can express their feelings about spring.